To help keep up with rapid population and development growth, the Florida Department of Transportation has proposed the reconstruction of the I-275 West Shore Area Interchange in Tampa. The visualizations presented are conceptual only and are for the purpose of portraying potential changes to the geometric features such as the number of lanes, intersections, ramps, and bridges. Future transit options are accommodated along the median of the I-275 corridor. No one should rely upon the visual portrayals as representing the final design of the project. Visualizations are subject to change as the evaluation of the project is still ongoing. The project entails reconstructing existing I-275 with the addition of express lanes in the median from the Howard Franklin Bridge to Rome Avenue and also includes the expansion of the West Shore Area Interchange and improvements along State Road 60, State Road 589, extending to the Veterans Expressway. Our first fly-through will illustrate northbound I-275 from the Howard Franklin Bridge to the West Shore Area Interchange and then turn north on State Road 60, State Road 589, passing Tampa International Airport and continuing towards the Veterans Expressway. A compass in the legend shows the direction being traveled, while lane types and lane counts are identified throughout the project. Note that existing roadway and bridges are shown in gray, and new roadway and bridges are shown in blue. While heading northbound along I-275, the project begins at the Tampa side of the Howard Franklin Bridge. Drivers in the express lanes have the option of continuing in the express lanes or exiting into general purpose lanes to utilize the existing general purpose ramps to Kennedy Boulevard, Rio Street, State Road 60 interchange. Continuing northbound, drivers in the express lanes have another option to exit to general purpose lanes if they wish to access Lois Avenue or Dale Mabry Highway interchanges. Rio Street will be extended underneath I-275, providing new connections between Kennedy Boulevard and Cypress Street. As the bridges are removed, we can see the new diverging diamond intersection underneath I-275. This is a more efficient type of intersection that reverses the traffic movements, with northbound traffic on Rio Street going from Kennedy Boulevard to Cypress Street on the west side, and southbound traffic on the east side of the intersection. Returning to I-275, we now see the West Shore Area Interchange where drivers in both general purpose and express lanes can continue northbound along I-275 or exit to the north along State Road 60 toward Tampa International Airport and the Veterans Expressway. Moving north, access to and from Spruce Street and the airport remains similar, while a new ramp to the airport is added from the express lanes. Approaching the Courtney Campbell Causeway Interchange, both general purpose and express lanes can exit and head west towards Clearwater. Continuing north, additional connections are added to Independence Parkway from both general purpose and express lanes, giving drivers an alternative route to Memorial Highway. Eastbound vehicles entering the causeway can access northbound general purpose lanes. Both general purpose and express lanes continue north towards the Veterans Expressway. We will now reorient back to the aerial map before traveling south along State Road 60 and then continuing along northbound I-275 towards downtown Tampa. Heading south, drivers may choose to enter the express lanes from the general purpose lanes just south of Memorial Highway. The southbound general purpose connection to westbound Courtney Campbell Causeway will remain. Eastbound vehicles entering from the causeway can access either southbound express or general purpose lanes. Drivers in the general purpose lanes maintain all existing connections to Cypress Street, Spruce Street, and the airport. Traffic exiting the airport has the option of using general purpose or express lanes. As we rejoin I-275, drivers in both general purpose and express lanes have access to both northbound and southbound I-275. 
continuing along northbound I-275, we pause to show two new connections underneath I-275, which have been added to Occident Street and Trask Street. Existing connections to and from West Shore Boulevard will remain with only minor adjustments. As we pass the future intermodal center, existing general purpose access to and from Lois Avenue remains the same as today. General purpose access to and from Dale Mabry remains unchanged. Drivers in the express lanes who wish to access Armenia Avenue and Howard Avenue can exit into the general purpose lanes near Cypress Street. Drivers in the express lanes can use a new exit ramp directly to Himes Avenue and turn either right or left. Drivers on Himes Avenue can now directly access the new northbound and southbound express lanes. Only right turns will be allowed from Himes onto the express lanes. The existing northbound on-ramp from Himes Avenue to the general purpose lanes will remain unchanged. The existing ramps to and from Armenia Avenue and Howard Avenue remain unchanged and traffic in both general purpose and express lanes continues northbound towards downtown Tampa. We will now reorient back to the key map before traveling southbound along I-275 from downtown toward West Shore and the Howard Franklin Bridge. Now traveling southbound along I-275, existing access to and from Howard Avenue and Armenia Avenue remains unchanged. Drivers in the express lanes have the option of continuing in the express lanes or exiting to general purpose lanes to access Dale Mabry, Lois Avenue, or West Shore Boulevard. Approaching Himes Avenue, the general purpose exit remains unchanged and the new express lanes access to and from Himes Avenue is added. Existing general purpose access to and from Dale Mabry Highway and to and from Lois Avenue will remain with minor modifications. The existing general purpose off-ramp to West Shore Boulevard will be modified to add a new connection to Trask Street. As southbound traffic approaches the West Shore area interchange, drivers in both general purpose and express lanes have the option of heading north towards the airport and the Veterans Expressway or continuing along I-275 toward Howard Franklin Bridge. Drivers from Rio Street have the option of entering either general purpose or express lanes along southbound I-275. The new bicycle and pedestrian path will extend from Rio Street across the Howard Franklin Bridge into Pinellas County. Drivers in the general purpose lanes have the option to continue across the Howard Franklin Bridge in the general purpose lanes or entering the express lanes for the trip across Tampa Bay into Pinellas County.